Ooh, child. Nothing about you, baby. Need more than just your body. Thinking about us lately, but I can't tell nobody. Memories drive me crazy. Gotta forget about it. It's always the good times that give me the hard time. I live well, yeah, baby. I What's up y'all? It's your girl Michaela, and today I'm going to be doing a video just sitting down talking to y'all telling you guys what's been on my mind. A little summary of how I felt about 2023 and this video will not be edited so y'all will know like the nitty and gritty of how I really truly feel. I don't want to edit this video or cut it in any type of way because I want y'all to really feel how genuine I am and unfortunately in the last year so much drama has transpired, so many life changes have transpired and I'm here to let y'all know before the year closes, I guess just how I feel, how I'm moving forward and what's to come in 2024. But before we get started y'all, please make sure you subscribe turn on the notifications and like this video a lot of you guys have been asking me to do certain videos in my dms and unfortunately i can't find all of you so the best thing you guys could do is comment down below and let me know hey i think you should do this video i saw in the last video comments a lot of you have been asking to see my daughter and i've been dab like i've been just trying to think in my head like is this smart to bring my daughter into YouTube? I really never wanted anybody to think I would ever use my baby or my daughter for views. Um, I know a lot of you guys are moms yourself or dads and you guys want to see how my daughter has been growing, her milestones and all that kind of stuff or see us interact. If a lot of you guys do genuinely want to see my daughter because you love her and you love to see her growth comment down below but other than that i just I, i've been really trying to see if that's something i want to do i'm just so scared because i know people could be mean people could say things especially when i first started doing youtube people would say like the meanest things where i felt very depressed and i would never want to put those feelings on my daughter hopefully I raised my daughter to be stronger and more, more, you know, I guess, I don't even know a word to explain it. Like a woman who isn't, doesn't care about what people think, but at the end of the day, like we all have feelings and I would just hate to put her in a situation where she doesn't feel comfortable she feels like making content is a job rather than something that she likes to do and she's six months so right now it's just like when i put a camera around her she doesn't mind it but there's times where she is fussy even facetiming her grandparents where i i don't know if it's the best thing to put her on camera right now but anyways getting back into this video i i wasn't really gonna participate in vlogmas or or even posting videos every day i'm gonna let y'all know I'm, I'm probably not gonna do like the cliche vlogmas videos i'm really not in the holiday spirit but i feel like december is a time that i could sit on what's happened throughout the year and figure out how i could change and make it better most of 2023 i was pregnant you guys know this or you know i feel like when i got pregnant i was so excited to finally have my baby a lot of you who have been following me for years know that i prayed and I couldn't get pregnant and when I would get pregnant I'd have a miscarriage or just something would happen and now that I was pregnant with my daughter I was just so I was anticipating everything to go the way I always dreamed of it turning out as as a child you know we we always hope 
that our babies will be healthy, we'll have this beautiful pregnancy where we're glowing and we take all these beautiful pictures and you know me and the child's father we get along perfectly the family gets along perfectly and unfortunately my whole pregnancy i was miserable i don't know why the camera just turned off i swear i did not cut it i love my daughter so so much but my pregnancy was so hard you guys all the arguing between family members and disagreements and i think one thing I've noticed in 2023, and I'm only saying this so I can look back at it next year and laugh or smile and see how far I've come, is that I am very generous and I'm very kind. And unfortunately, people who are generous and kind get taken advantage of. And I always heard this saying, like, you either have to take advantage or get it take it advantage of in this life and I never understood why people would say stuff like that but unfortunately because of my personality I'm always trying to give 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 and I tend to connect and be a magnet towards people who take 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 and I'm not just talking about in like my relationship with my child's father i hope you guys know that i felt like all my friends that would be there when i was throwing parties when i was giving away stuff when i was helping people get brand deals when i was you know going there 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 and there they were nowhere to be found when i was pregnant and i had a very sickly pregnancy and by the grace of god people came to me and got closer to me who were supposed to be there shout out to my best friend fredo Shout out to Miss Kaylin Marie. If you guys know, I've been around her a lot because throughout my pregnancy, like people that I really thought were going to show up for me didn't show up. A lot of them didn't even show up to my baby shower. And those of them that did show up to my baby shower, that's like the only thing they showed up for, you know? So I was really hurt that my support system was just. It just dissipated it disappeared and a lot of women can relate to me that like all your friends they go away once you can't go to the club no more you know and I just feel I really even even when I needed help myself and needed people to support me myself I I just reached my hand out and still tried to pull people in and bring them to to just get their lives together and get them to a point of financial stability just for them to crap on me and i realized instead of just being silent and walking away from certain situations i showed my butt and you guys saw you guys didn't see clear-headed Michaela. She's Michaela that you guys seen for years. You saw postpartum depression Michaela. You know, um, new mother Michaela, single mother Michaela. I'm stressed out. I'm traumatized Michaela. And that's not okay because I shouldn't let you guys see that side of me. And maybe I'm just too real. I don't know what it is or maybe I need to and I, I know I need to work on just having different personalities I think it's the Japanese that say there's one personality you show to the world another you show to your close friends and family and another one that's just for you another personality that only you're supposed to see and unfortunately I just been showing one I just been re being the real me I'm not trying to keep my daughter away from anybody. But at the same time, y'all got to realize that if you don't respect Kazi's mommy, then you're not going to respect Kazi. And so I've had to definitely separate myself from a lot of people. But I also made a lot of apologies. I have really reflected on all the relationships that I lost. And I definitely tried to 
apologize to people that I felt deserved an apology after I reflected. Um, there's, there's countless people and I'm not to, I'm not, you know, too cool or cocky to admit that I've made a lot of apologies. Y'all, my phone died and I really gotta go get my hair done. Y'all will see it next video, but I wanted to say that I made apologies to the people I felt like I really needed to give apologies to. There's certain people where as much as I would love to rekindle things, you're not finna punk me. Um, I know what I've done to people. I know what opportunities I've given to people. I know, you know, my heart. And I hope if you really rock with me, been rocking with me, you've seen what I've done with people and for people throughout the years, how I've been taken advantage of. And I just pray that one day me and certain people could sit down and talk. But until then, 2024, I'm moving on. I have so many things that I want to do and I'm going to speak into existence. I think one of my next videos, I'll probably do like an intentions video, but I just have to keep it real. There's certain people, if you keep asking, how are you and so-and-so? Will you ever be cool with so-and-so? Chances are, we're not cool. We won't be cool for a while or until that person realizes what they really did to hurt me when I did nothing but be good to them. But anyways, I'm gonna keep it cute and I'm gonna go. Love y'all and remember, you're a boss. Bye. Just take away